Halloween, a holiday when children roam the streets, terrifying neighbors till they hand over their candy. Anoka, Minnesota, the Halloween capital of the world. Every year, the citizens of Anoka hold a parade to make a candy offering to the children, hoping to appease these terrifying creatures and keep them far from their doorsteps. So far, it hasn't worked. But this year is different, because this year, we're asking the children to design the Pearson Candy Company float. Here at the School of Engineering and Arts, children offer their ideas for the ideal Halloween parade float. Let's listen. My float is named the Float of Horrors. My float is called Pearson's Haunted Candy Factory. Candytopia. It's called Rise of the Dead. And I did lots of labels, um, so you know what it is. I made it be red, sort of like the color of blood. Just like blah, like Dracula, blah, blah, blah. It has like a big kind of disco ball thing on top of it. There's a big bear. <laughs> and somebody inside the ghost that's saying, humans, I feast on humans. And then once it finds it, it goes like, there's gonna be a guy inside of the pumpkin. The guy's gonna be talking, like saying happy Halloween or into the microphone. And then there's the question of candy distribution. I just throw it out like, ooh, 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 ooh. So Mr. Nut, Mr. Um, King Nutroll would be um, throwing out the candy and also out of the top exhaust pipes. The pumpkin head's gonna turn slowly, turns its head side to side and it barfs out candy. Plenty of thought was put into every color choice. The only reason I chose orange is because pumpkins are orange and I only do The only reason I chose black is because the are black and then the rest just for fun. The children work hard on their designs to bring their vision to life. A final design is chosen and the plans are dropped off with the builders. The children inspect the construction site to ensure everything is up to their standards. The most successful floats exist in three-dimensional space, so the drawings go through the labor-intensive process of dimensioning. Looks like the wheels are really turning on this project. Ooh, watch out for ghosts. The kids jump at the chance to take the logo for a spin. A visit to the Pearson Candy Factory ensures candy production is on schedule for their parade. Here comes caramel. And who wouldn't want a taste of that? Look out for the bit o honey. Gangway for peanuts. Looks delicious. Finally, the float is finished and ready to be revealed. Oh boy, that's a humdinger of a ride. That should keep the children happy. Find out for yourself, Saturday, October 31st, in downtown Anoka. From all of us at the Pearson Candy Company, we'd like to wish you a safe and happy Halloween. And don't forget to buy our candy, because the children won't forget to demand it.